So uh, Forsen's going to have a big, big uphill battle ahead of him. Uh, but yeah, it is ZVZ. ZVZ can be very volatile. Anything could happen. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for Idra versus Forsen. Game number one here. One of the last matches of the day. They're getting spirited out there. Oh, everyone here is beautiful. Thank you, Dana. Really, truly. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. that. I was feeling a little bit insecure until you said that. <laughs> you know, I really do like to fix any sort of problems that could be going on internally at these events. In the bottom left corner, hailing from Sweden, it is the relatively unknown but practice hardy foursome. That's right. And his opponent up here in the top right-hand corner of the screen, the North American Zerg player. We all know him. Uh, a lot of us love him. Some of us hate him. It's Evil Genius' says Idra. Oh, man. Nobody here hates Idra. Nobody. Maybe there's that one person silently not clapping. Like, I we... hate you guys for clapping. Well, we can't hear him right now, nope. can we? Nope. We cannot hear him just sitting there dwelling. Looks like almost identical timing. I mean, literally everything's lining up mm -hmm. in terms of that production. Did want to briefly note that the action will, of course, resume here tomorrow at 10 a.m. bright and early. We will not be there because we'll be down at the Twitch TV booth saying hi to y'all, so definitely come by. Sweet. Yes, bring all the things to sign, and we will sign them all. Sweet. At 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock a.m. Oh bright gosh. and early. Make I have to wake up. It's a good thing that we just kind of remained unconscious for much of the early day. We blacked out when we came to. We had done six best of threes and plug sponsors. It looks like both players are going to be opening mm -hmm. up with the gas pool. We haven't talked too much about Zerg vs. Zerg on Tall Dream Altar, yeah. but I think suffice to say with an opening this wide, it is yeah. very risky to do much else other than anything that's speed Zergling focused or very early pool focused. Yeah, spot on. I do feel like uh, Hatch First Play is super susceptible to big speedling pressure, and uh, it's almost impossible to get early roaches on this map because of how open that natural expansion is. And we do see Forsen um, and Idra literally doing everything identically. Oh, we have a deviation. Idra, unsurprisingly, being the one willing to build an extra drone. That really is one of his trademarks. Mm -hmm. He is the one player that always knows how to rearrange his economy in little tiny ways to get those slight edges. We see Idra, uh, it looks like by getting the extra drone, was a few seconds behind on his speed. And this actually is somewhat of a concern. Look at that, a five-second difference. That may not seem like much, but suppose that Forsen mm -hmm. meets Idra in the middle of the map and Idra begins to retreat. Five seconds is all it takes for the speed Zerglings of Forsen to get a good surround on Idra and kill off all of them to gain an advantage. Wow. Uh, Forsen's going to go ahead and throw down a Baneling Nest. Immediately. So he is uh, looking as if he wants to make this a one-base play. Idra's already saved up for that hatchery. He's starting his natural. This is a very Idra-esque play style. He's just been mining gas with one drone. As soon as he has 50 gas, he'll start that Baneling Nest of his own, and he's going to play a very defensive Baneling-oriented play style. Looks like Idra just went right past that first set of Zerglings. Idra's getting a good bit of information. Will Forsen be able to deny this scout? This is what's important. Critically, Idra has seen the expansion, so he knows, all right, my opponent's one-basing. So already he's probably suspecting something like a Bane Link uh -oh. blow. And wow. He will definitely, maybe, certainly, yes, he will confirm that there is a Bane Link nest. He's the, the Bane Link nest. Says. But, I mean, Forsen really didn't even need that much more time. Uh-oh. Ooh, Ooh. Forsen's going to have to run that one Zergling away and does oh. just the perfect run around to Rue. Hello, I do have Banelings here. Idris going to have to control this very well. Ooh, a huge biff by Forsen there. Uh, but four Banelings left. Oh. Oh, no. His Baneling control has not been top-notch, but critically, Idris now is zoned out here. He could just use the Banelings. Forsen could use the Banelings to kill the Hasher, but no, that's not what he's going to do. He's going to go into the main base. I don't know uh -oh. if I agree, uh -oh. but whoa. Oh. It looks like Forsen did manage to land a pretty significant blow on some of those drones, bringing them down into the red health. And Idra, though, has managed to successfully keep this expansion up. It's going to be the question, can he get that one spine crawler up in time? As Forsen looks like he is going to be unrelenting yep. with this Ling Bane Ling pressure. Forsen just going to go all in Ling Bane. Idra has, well, he's now rooting this spine crawler. He only lost two drones to that in initial detonation, and now he's got the advantage of this high ground here. And here we go. It's all about the control, Day 9. He's got to be really careful with the Baneling exchange. So far, so good for Forsen, but he has to get into a good position. He needs to... Wow. Oh, that is exactly what Idra wanted. Excellent defense by the American Zerg. Absolutely top-notch control there by Idra. He is... Ooh, 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 ooh a 
Ooh. a nice hit there by Forsen, but he accidentally does not kill uh -oh. the spine crawler. Is in the main. Idra, wait a minute. He's uh -oh. losing a lot of workers here in the backside, and it looks like that one spine crawler at the front is not going to be alive for much longer. Any amount of units from Forsen could possibly clean this up, but amazingly, Idra is uh, still ahead in the drone count. Ooh. Yeah, uh, only losing four workers miraculously to that. So Idra with excellent control there, uh, fighting with his drones and then pulling back the injured drones at the perfect time. Uh -oh. oh my goodness! Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh jeez! Oh, he has oh, no idea. No. Oh, he just he just does not think that this is something that is happening right now. Oh, but this he is has real. no idea. Idra, is he going to oh. move it in time? Uh, unbelievable oh. reaction timing! Oh my goodness! A nice hit there by Force and bringing Idra down to 11 drones. And Forsen is not going to stop anytime soon. We see more Zerglings rally cross map, holding down that E button, which functions oh so well yeah. with the Swedish keyboard. If only Forsen had taken an expand at some point, but uh, he just he's, he's saying, I have to win the game right here. He's done a good job of killing drones here and there, but Idra's re, uh, recuperating Ooh. those losses very nicely. <laughs> And it looks oh. like, oh my god, an incredible hit there oh. by Forsen. And Forsen now moving in yet again. Looks like the main is going to be the vulnerable target for Forsen. He is going to try to pick off a couple of these Zerglings, but we're going to see Idra. Oh, it looks like the Spine Crawler has another big hit on it, but here comes another huge swell of Zerglings into the main base. There's that one single Baneling there. He needs to begin eliminating oh. those. But wow, Forsen. Oh no, oh no, Idra. We see the drone health count is not doing too hot at this point in time. More Zerglings swinging on in, but there's a good number of drones there at the natural expansion. There's a single Banely getting morphed in there, and Idra is in a lot of trouble. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that Forsen is uh, taking it to Idra like this. Oh, the Baneling gets canceled at the last second. Excellent control there by Forsen. Uh, he's continuing to stream across units, uh, hitting most of his injects, quite frankly, and uh, Whoa, whoa, oh, there's been a huge run by Day9. Oh, no. Idra running the Zerglings around. No Banelings necessary. And we see 11 workers killed off right now. The Queen is down, forcing suddenly in a total all-in position. Ooh. Oh, Idra is in a dominating lead right now, and these Banelings are going to have to be the ticket for Forsen's victory. Otherwise, it is lights out. Yep, this is it. Uh, Forsen is all or nothing here. Nice control on the Zerglings. But I just don't think it's going to be enough. Four supply remains for Idra. 24 supply remains for Forsen. And there's the good game, Idra, for Idra. With a great, great defense. Top-notch control by, uh, by Idra. Uh, Forsen definitely, uh, he had him on the 